It has had four renewals so far, and a fifth one is in the making. Each of the seasons boasts 13 episodes, and they're pure crime and drama. And when you have 2.1 million viewers per episode, you know you're on to something. Especially when you have such a talented and professional cast. Man, you can just feel the cold-blooded lines that Teresa Mendoza write to the bone, and the way she carries herself just screams power with a capital P. But today, we wanted to look at what these cast members are not telling us. We wanted to uncover their secrets and look at Queen of the South Season 5 Cast Secrets. So let's jump right in, people. Number 10, Hemke Madeira, the pilot. We all know him as Pote Galvarez, the right hand of the drug queen Teresa. And even though he is an American actor, he has actually began his acting career in the Dominican Republic. That's why part of the movies he starred in have Spanish titles. But nonetheless, he is a great actor and we love him on the series. In an interview, Madeira started telling us more about himself and what he was doing during quarantine. After finding out that the filming for the fifth season of Queen of the South must be postponed due to the pandemic. What Bandera said shocked many viewers. Before the pandemic started, he claimed that he was taking flying lessons, but he was forced to stop. He even said that as soon as the coronavirus situation clears, he would like to continue his classes and get his pilot's license. And if you are wondering what he's doing during the lockdown, he's being productive by learning to play the piano. Number 9. Braga started her acting career starring in a yogurt commercial. That's right folks, this empress of drugs actually had humble beginnings. Being born in Sao Paulo, Brazil, she had two role models who were great actresses, her mother and aunt. Both of them influenced Braga from an early age and she began participating in school plays. She then moved on to commercials. Her first TV break came in 1991 when she was only nine years old. That's when she starred in a yogurt commercial. When she became a teenager, she starred in short Brazilian films and got her big break with the movie City of God in 2002. In 2006, she made her first appearance in an English movie when she starred in Journey to the End of Night. This catapulted her success and she landed roles next to stars like Will Smith, Harrison Ford, and many others. Number 8. Veronica Falcon's insane preparation for her role as Camilla. Veronica Falcon plays Camilla in Queen of the South, and she says that the role was one of those that come once in a lifetime. Even though she is an established and well-known actress in her home country, Veronica says that this character was very important to her and she paid very close attention to how she portrayed Camilla. Even though she is a bad guy, the actress wanted to remain professional and build a real character that people can relate to. Building a character based on only one characteristic wouldn't have the same effect on the audience. So what did she do? She smashed that like button if you haven't done that already. But in all seriousness, she immersed herself in the character. She began reading the novel Rena del Sur, where her character is nothing more than a minor character in the entire book. So now she had a small amount of material and she had to dig and dig and dig in order to find the nuances of her personality. Looks like she wanted to get every detail just right. Number seven, Molly Burnett is also a singer. Not only does she play Kelly in Queen of the South, not only did she play Melanie Jonas in Days of Our Lives, but she is also a singer. She is not that famous for her singing career as she has only one single out called Give Me Your Hand, but that doesn't mean she doesn't have the voice. No sir, she actually has an amazing voice and she got to show it off in the second season of True Blood when she performed Jesus Asked Me Out Today on stage. And if you thought that her voice is good, wait till you hear that she got nominated three times for a Daytime Emmy Award. The first two times in 2010 and 2012 was for her role as Melanie Jonas in Days of Our Lives, and the third nomination was for the role of Lura in Relationship Status. Number 6. Justina Machado's grandfather was put in jail. Even though she is of Puerto Rican descent, she was born in America. Her mother was born in Puerto Rico, and her father had Puerto Rican roots, but was a Chicago man. She knows that her families had a hard time in their home country, that's why they moved to the States. For example, Justina's grandpa was put in jail when she was young for petty theft. In the show Finding Your Roots, the Henry Louis Gates told her they found her granddad's old criminal record. Even though he was serving his sentence in the local jail, he later found himself 
in Oso Blanco prison, a basic hell on earth for criminals. What was the reason? The court judged that her grandfather committed a crime against nature because he had sexual relations with a same-sex partner. How messed up is that? Number 5. Peter Gadillo starred in Once Upon a Time in Wonderland This English lad is not just famous for his role as James Valdez in Queen of the South. He was also part of the popular TV series titled Once Upon a Time in Wonderland. He played the role of Cyrus, who played alongside Alice from Alice in Wonderland, who fell down the rabbit hole and discovered the magical land. From the looks of it, he seems to be good friends with his co-star from the show, Sophie Love. They probably bonded a lot during the 13 episodes that Peter was on the show. In their interviews, you can clearly see the two are very close friends. Number 4. Joaquin de Almeida usually plays the bad guy. And even in Queen of the South, he is the head of the rivaling Vargas cartel. The actor said that people often think of him as the bad guy, even when they didn't know him, they thought he was the bad guy. He has played in American and Portuguese movies alike, and his most famous roles include Clear and Present Danger, Fast Five, Desperado, and many more. But if you really think about it, most of his roles do not include bad guys. But those that do are usually very well advertised, and he gets most of his recognition from that. Although he admits to having the looks of a bad guy, he has done hundreds of European movies where he plays the good guy. Number 3. Peter Gadillo is a philanthropist. He not only has the smoking hot looks, but also the body of a real live hunk. How so? Well, did you know that Peter is actively running campaigns in order to stop slavery and human trafficking? To further his cause, he has rowed across the Atlantic, specifically from the Caribbean to Africa. He then ran an ultra marathon of 155 miles. And to raise even more awareness, he has even climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. Now you be the judge on whether a flabby body can support running a marathon of 155 miles. Not to mention, he also attended thousands of schools and gave talks on the subject just so he can raise awareness on the issue. Number 2. Falcon is a choreographer and a writer Well, acting is not the only ace up her sleeve. In Mexico City, she is famous for her choreographic talents. She is one of the best choreographers in the country, and that's why she has been working with the Mexico National Opera. Some of her most popular work includes the productions of Wojciech, the Italian in Algeria, and Don Giovanni. For her last opera piece, she has been acknowledged as an extremely innovative choreographer. One of the reasons she gets roles that are physically demanding is precisely because of her background as a choreographer. And number one, Alice Braga is a lesbian. Whoa, this one was unexpected, but it's true nonetheless. She has confirmed the speculations in January of 2020 when she said that she has been dating Bianca Comparato for almost three years. That means the couple started going out way back in 2017, basically since the beginning of the season. So who is this girlfriend? She is a famous actress who is 34 years old and she has only appeared in Brazilian movies so far. All of their family members were aware of the relationship, but they decided to keep it away from the public eye for personal reasons. And on that note, we end this video. But hey, do you know any other juicy cast secrets that we forgot to mention here? You can tell us in the comments section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.